Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I've got an unboxing. This is a brand new release from Raquel Welch. This is Portrait Mode and mine is in RL628, also known as Bronze Sable. I will leave the link for you listed down below in the description box. If you have any questions, I never remember to tell you this, but if you ever have any questions about any of the styles that I show here on my channel and you just want either some comparisons or you need some more information about the styles, please contact support at wigstudio1.com and there are consultants there that are always happy to help. Really excited to get this one. A portrait mode from the stock photo that I have received, it looks very similar to current events. So I do have current events here that will do, I'll do a short comparison at the end for anyone that wants to see if there are some similarities or differences between them. We have a temple to temple lace front. We have a full monofilament top, uh, felt covered ear tabs. We have an extended nape and Velcro adjusters. This is a memory cap two. The difference between the memory cap two and the memory cap three is that on the memory cap two, you're not going to have that silicone or that polyurethane on the, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I, if you're familiar with Raquel Welch, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. There seems to be a good amount of stretch on portrait mode. Mine is in the color RL628. This is bronzed sable. It is described as a brown with medium auburn highlights. And I think that's exactly what it looks like. It's very similar to 6F27 from John Renault. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, classic bob. This looks like something that will take you from very casual to do some running around to elegant to professional. Just as pretty as can be. I would say the density is fairly light. Portrait mode weighs only three and a half ounces, so we have a very light piece. There are minimal permatease at the crown, just very, very little at the end of the monofilament. Minimal permatease, very, very little right around the monofilament. And that's to give it this pretty rounded form and just a little bit of permatease at the nape. And we're usually going to find that type of permatease when we have styles like this in order for them to not appear as sleek but it's certainly nothing pillowy nothing up here because we have that monofilament so there therefore there's no permatease in that area great coverage here is the ear tab and here is my hairline nice beautiful beautiful impeccable lace front as we usually see on Raquel Welch styles. And the fibers on this color, on Bronze Sable, as you can see, we have those auburn or uh, reddish blonde running on the front, but it's not a band. Very nicely done. And with the full monofilament, it can be parted anywhere you like. If you wanted to tuck it, you can tuck it. Or you could tuck it all the way behind your ears. I'd have to match my hairline to the wig, but other than that, I think it's quite tuckable. The bang is eight inches. The crown is 11 and a half inches. The nape is four inches. The back is nine and a half inches. And the sides are eight and a half inches. And these are heat friendly fibers. 
If you wanted to straighten it or you wanted to add some curls, you can certainly do that. Beautiful, easy bob. I think that if you are looking for a light density, you're, you want those smooth layers, you want a very polished look that you can wear for any occasion, whether it's just every day, or you're looking for something professional, or you're looking for something a little bit more elegant, portrait mode is just beautiful. I think Raquel Welch did an incredible job. All right, let's take a walk outside so you could see Bronze Sable out in the daylight and then I'll come back. I didn't mention that if you like Shaded Hazelnut by Raquel Welch, you would probably like Bronze Sable as well. The difference is that on Bron Bronze Sable is just a little, has a little bit of a darker base. I believe that Shaded Hazelnut is $8.29 and Bronze Sable is $6.28. So your highlights are very, very close. They're almost identical. The difference is that the base is a brown on bronze sable, while on shaded hazelnut, it's an eight. So that is a medium brown. All right, let's take a look at current events because honestly, I don't remember the, the cap. Okay. Uh, here is the, the main difference that I'm seeing. You're still going, on current events, you're still going to have a temple to temple lace front with portrait mode, you're going to have the full monofilament top. And with current events, you have a left part and you have a memory three cap, which you don't have on portrait mode. I feel that current event weighs a little bit more. As far as the style is concerned, it's very similar. It is, it weighs a little bit more. And I think it has, I think that density is a little bit higher on current events. I also feel that it had, it may even be a tiny little bit longer than on portrait mode. I'll slip her on so you can kind of see. All right, here is current event. I also think the density is a little bit higher, not by much, but it is slightly higher. We don't have uh, permatease up on top. Just the same as portrait mode, the same amount of permatease as far as the nape and as far as around the sides. Current event seems to want to flop a little bit more on the face. You're still getting the true to life fibers. I'll show you. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.